Okay, so firstly I'm gonna show you there's two ways to build a post. There's the Beaver Builder way and there's the native WordPress way. I'm gonna show you both ways now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up how you guys, are, are probably the majority of you guys are setting it up. So let's first create a page. So we'll go to pages and we're just gonna add a new page. We're gonna call it blog Beaver Builder module just you know for the reference of this tutorial so you guys can you know compare the difference later on and how you guys are probably doing it when you create the page you're launching the page builder you're going into the advanced modules you're going to scroll down you go on the post module you're dragging it in you know you can have different settings i'm just going to choose feed you know i'll show 10 i'm going to have this uh i'm going to show the featured image Beside the text, medium, I might show the read more. So there's there's some options here. And that's probably why everyone's sort of doing it because it's Beaver Builder, you can drag and drop it and you have these options. And already just from doing that module, I can click done and I have a blog up, it took me 30 seconds. But I'm gonna tell you why it's not a good option. And the reason is that it's not default WordPress, okay? So you're building it with Beaver Builder, you're dragging these modules in but this is why it's not the best way. Okay, so we've created that page. Now let's create a new page and we're gonna do it the WordPress way, so the native way. So we'll do a page, we'll create it new. We're gonna, gonna call it blog native WordPress. And we're just gonna publish that. No Beaver Builder editing. We're not, added, we're not adding any modules in this page. Now you've probably done this with other themes and when you found Beaver Builder you sort of might have stopped and you, there was a post module and one thing led to another and you just ended up dragging and building your blogs with the page builder. But with most other themes you go to settings, reading, you go down to here where you set your static page and you'd for your post page you would just choose your blog page. So we select the native WordPress one, remember this is the one without the Beaver Builder modules and you click save changes. I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly build, build a menu to have the two different options in there so we can just toggle between them pretty quickly and as we go through the tutorial you can compare. So I'm going to put the uh, Beaver Builder module first and then we're going to do the native one after. So we'll save that, go back to the home page and as you can see the Beaver Builder module, you no know, looking nice, native uh, WordPress module, Exactly the same. So right now they're equal. They look equal on the surface. Behind the scenes, the way that it's it's built and the queries are going is different. And again, this is where it's going to fall short. So you've done this for a client, and then they come. You know, the, the, I need a blog. Hey, hey, man, I need a blog. You give them a blog, and they come back to you, and they're just, you know, they've been blogging. They've built a, a following. They've built a Facebook page. Now they have people, you know, saying, "Oh, I want to be able to share your post." So they come to you, you're their WordPress developer, and they say, please add some social social media icons. No worries. You need to find a plugin, okay? So for the social media shares, I use this one called Scriptless Social Sharing. And Davinder actually recommended that from the Beaver Builder group. And it works, it works great. It literally adds a little bit of HTML onto the post content and before the content. So I've installed that, scriptless social sharing, and we'll go to settings, we'll go to scriptless social sharing, the plugin settings, and in there, uh, we're gonna add it to posts before and after the content, and we're gonna add Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and email. And we click save changes. Okay, awesome, now that that's saved, so we've saved this, we're gonna go to the front end. Now one thing I will mention is those settings are actually just for the individual posts, so when you're viewing a single post. So see here, this is the uh, Beaver Builder post module. It's not showing there on the list of blog posts, but also it's not showing on the default WordPress blog post, and that's the expected functionality. So if I click into any of these, so from the native WordPress, see how it shows up the top before the content, and it shows below after the content. Even if I go to the Beaver Builder module, I still get that same. So I'm clicking through, it's up the top, it's at the bottom. So that plugin's putting it on the single post. Then one day your client, John, comes to you and says, hey, you know, those social media buttons you put on the individual posts, they're going off. I mean, I'm getting 100 million people to my side a day. I want a, I want a billion people. And to do that, I think that I need social share buttons on my list of blog posts, okay? So I want to add them here. 
So you say, yeah, John, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure there's a hook, there's some way, there's a plugin. And you go off and investigate. And if you've been following this tutorial and you've used the scriptless social sharing, you'll find that on their FAQ page, if you go down, here, can I add sharing buttons to post archive pages? Yes. First, you tell the plugin that you want to run the code, and then you output it using a hook or into a template file. So first, let's copy the code to tell the social sharing plugin that we want to output this code. And then next, let's actually output the code. So again, we're copying both these into our functions.php file within our theme. Now, depending on what theme you're using, so this is a hook. So if you're using Genesis, you could leave that or you could change that to a different hook. Uh, but I know, so I'm using the Beaver Builder theme and the hook that I want to use is the FL post top meta open. So this is actually going to put it at the top of my post. So this is basically saying if it's an archive page and the plugin's active, let's output the social sharing buttons. Okay, so let's save this and then we'll go back and this is the Beaver Builder module. We're going to refresh it. And the important thing here is that it hasn't changed. So our code is saying for the FL post top meta, which is a hook, an action hook that activates around this area, it's saying do the social media buttons. And it's not. Look at that. If we go to the blog native WordPress, it is. Look, so that's our list of posts and it's doing it. And I'll show you, I'll go into the code and I'll actually show you why. And it's down to one main function. Uh, so first, I just want to quickly run you through queries. So in WordPress, there's two different types of queries. You've got the main query and you've got secondary or custom queries. So the main query is the main one responsible for loading the page. So for instance, uh, if, I click on, if I click on the home page, so home, we know home is of the post type page. We know the post title is home. Uh, we know that the ID could be, let's just say one, uh, you know, we know all these things about it. And so when I click on a home, all that information is put into a variable and then it queries the database and starts loading the page based on that. So that's the main query. The main query is the overall thing that you're, you're clicking on. Custom queries or secondary queries, they're different to main queries. And so I'll show you, I'll show you an example. So let's just say we edit the home page. We go down here, we add a post carousel module. And we click save. And we publish. Now if we break down this page, when I click on home, that gets the post type page, because home's an actual a static page. It gets the post title, like which is home, it gets all that information about it. That's the main query. Now a custom query or a secondary query is triggered during the main query. So if we click on home, the main query is loading this home page. And as it gets down to here, we've put into the home page that we want to load our most recent posts into a carousel. So this is a secondary query. So the, the main query runs and loads the page and then it gets down to this secondary query, goes to the database, loops through and outputs our recent posts. And then once that's completed, it goes back to the main query and continues to load the page. So if we break it down, the main query loads the page and then it triggers the secondary query to run and load this content. And then once this secondary query completes, it returns to the main query and keeps loading the page. So why am I explaining the difference between a main query and a secondary query? The difference between these is the reason why that social media plugin isn't working on the Beaver Builder modules and it is working in our native WordPress blog. So we'll jump into the plugin code for the social media plugin and by looking at that you'll see exactly why it isn't working. So I'm going to show you exactly why that is and so I want to show you by going to the plugin. So we'll go here, scriptless social sharing and then I know that it's in the includes and it's in the output. So this handles the output of the buttons. Now, if we go down a little bit, there is a function. 
and we can look at this function to decide whether the buttons can be output or not. So see here, if it is not the main query, don't output the buttons. So we're talking about secondary queries and main queries. So literally this, this plugin here checks. It says, if it's not the main query, don't show the buttons. So if we go back here and put that in terms of here, blog posts. So Beaver Builder modules, we know the main query is the page. This is a secondary query. So is it the main query? No. So that function, this function here in the plugin, is it the main query? Do not output the buttons. Is this the main query? No. Don't show the buttons. But the blog, is this the main query? Yes, it is the main query. It's not a secondary query. The main query on this page is for the blog, output the buttons. You can see now sort of why I have never used uh, the Beaver Builder Post module for a client. And it's, it's really because you get it up fast, but in the long run, you know, you risk a client coming to you and saying, hi, I need a blog. You put in that module and you're done and you charge them for that. You know how long it takes you charge them based on that. But you know, requirements change. That client could come back to you in like six months and say, I need this. And you might have to say, I need to quote you to redo a whole blog because you didn't use the native WordPress thing and the social share buttons aren't interacting with it. So it's always best just do things right, do things the native WordPress way, use that method, use the, use the, the method that I've shown you, the native WordPress way, Again, by going to settings, going to reading, and then setting your post page here, native blog page, and you won't have any of these issues. Why? Because every blog plugin, nearly every blog plugin that you install, the first check it's going to check is, are, they, are you targeting the main query? If it's not the main query, don't do it. Because if, they're not, if they don't do that, if they're not checking for the main query, we'd have buttons here, buttons here, buttons here. Every, you know, your sidebar, if you're listing uh, your recent posts, your five recent products, they would all have it, which is you don't want that. And that's why the plugins check. They only usually do it on the main query. You can override it by using uh, PHP code and stuff like that. But nearly every plugin that you guys do install is going to check, is it the main query? Do this. If not, do not do anything. And as I've shown here, it's exactly with those uh, post modules that come with Beaver Builder. And yeah, you're just going to, I just feel like, you know, there's a risk of backing ourselves into a corner if we do do this module. That's why I'm only ever using the native WordPress blog function. Uh, lastly, I know that one of the main reasons people are using this blog with Beaver Builder is that you can do a, a nice grid. So if I go back into the page builder, I edit the module. I make it a grid. Okay. Done, publish. And look at that, we've got a really simple grid. But you can do that with CSS. I mean, you might have to learn it, but from the way that you build a blog using this and the problems that are gonna occur, from the 20 to 30 minutes it might take someone professionally to customize your blog and make it you know, foolproof, it can grow, it can expand with your client, it can integrate with plugins, at the time that you spend fiddling around wondering why a plugin isn't working with these modules, you know, you may as well do it from the start. And learning CSS is, a, you know, it's very important and I highly recommend it. If I go to Beyond Beaver Build and we look at our blog post on our homepage, that's a grid and that's just CSS. I mean, you could actually go through and copy it and I, you know, in a later tutorial, I'll give the CSS. But if you go through and you can see, you know, uh, the posts are 31%. It's just a literally, literally a bit of CSS and it's foolproof. I mean, I could install a social share plugin and add the social icons here if I wanted to. Uh, it's just so much more flexible. And guys, I just, I really hope that you, uh, you know, you think about this, you know, if you weigh it up and you know the blog's not going to grow and you need sign up fast, you might consider to just stick with this. But if you do have the time and you have the risk of the client wanting more later on, always use the native WordPress functions. So yeah, I always say this, the blog, that's the thing that's going to get you the traffic, uh, the thing that you're going to be spending the most time writing articles on. So you don't want to be fiddling around with something that isn't going to work later on. You know, get it right from the first time and then just grow.